now, here's my friend, Pee Wee Herman. Hey, right now, everybody, it's time to see what's in my bag of tricks, okay, okay? Okay, this is the first thing I have right here, and it's a little smurf, look. Yeah, I agree, it's a little too smurfy. Okay, yeah, I have this thing too, look. That's it, that, that. Get it? You know, yeah. Okay, yeah, thanks. I have this thing too, look. I got the whole wide world in my hand. I got the whole wide world in my hand. Okay. Okay, what is this, a little too high brow for you or something? Look, look right here, look. I have the little bitty baby in my hand and a little bit. Okay, okay. All right, look, I have this cool toy too. Look right here. You know what that is? Goldfinger! That's a good. That's a... Okay, it's no sweat off my back. You know okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, I have this, I have this cool toy too. I wanted to show you this right now because this is a really cool toy right here. Look right here at this toy, look. Ah, 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 And now it's time to play the mating game with your host, Jim Lund. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Well, we've got an eligible bachelor waiting backstage who's anxious to come out and pick his dream mate. But before he does that, let's meet our three bachelorettes. And here they are. Bachelorette number one is a dental hygienist from Burbank. She's into stingers, transams, and nachos. Please say hello to Kendi O'Brien. <laughs> Bachelorette number two comes to us from Casadilla, Texas. Her hobby is square dancing, and she'd sure like to hoe down on you. Please say hello to Velma Peckerwood. <laughs> and Bachelorette number three is our special celebrity bachelorette. She's a syndicated horror movie hostess, better known as the Mistress of the Dark. Please welcome Elvira. <laughs> Just uh, one personal question, Elvira. How do you manage to stay in that sexy outfit? Well, Jim, I just stay out of bad neighborhoods. <laughs> Whoa! Marvelous, marvelous. Well, now it's time to meet our eligible bachelor. He's a foreign exchange student who's come all the way from Nagasaki, Japan. Please welcome Happy Joe. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. It's pretty bad to be here. <laughs> well, Happy Joe, I understand that you're a student. Uh, where are you going to school? Uh, right now, I'm in my second semester at UCLA. Oh, marvelous. <laughs> Uh, Happy Joe, what are you studying? Right now, I'm studying that jacket you have on. Oh, my God, that is very bad. <laughs> nice jacket. Who shot the couch? Oh. <laughs> marvelous, marvelous, Happy much. Joe. Thank you, thank you. Well, I'm, yeah, well, I'm sure you're anxious to meet your dream mate. But before we do so, why don't we have each of the bachelorettes say hello to Happy Joe. Okay. Bachelorette number one, say hello to Happy Joe. What's happening, Happy Joe? What's happening? Oh, she must be a black girl. <laughs> You know, I have a friend of mine who is half black and half Japanese, and every December 7th, he bombs Pro Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. It's very bad, I know. Thank you for that, too. Uh, no <laughs> shit. Okay, bachelorette number two, will you please say hello to Happy Joe? How do you do, Happy Joe? <laughs> oh, a cowgirl. <laughs> How would you like a nice cow poke? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and... <laughs> okay. Bachelorette number three, will you please say hello to Happy Joe? Hello, darling. Hello, darling. Oh, my God, I'm going to get red for sure. Oh, okay. my God. <laughs> happy Joe, Happy Joe. Okay, now, I know you have your questions. I got my questions. I want you to sit down, relax, and have a good time, and good luck. <laughs> Thank you, Gene. <laughs> okay. 
Bachelorette number two. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite kind of cheese? Velveeta. Velveeta, why Velveeta? Because it comes in logs and it spreads easy. <laughs> oh. Get it? Yes, thank you, Bachelorette number two, for glossing me out. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sure. Okay, <laughs> bachelor like number one now. On the first date, I will A, go all the way, B, go part of the way, or C, go a wee more way, a wee more way, a wee more way, a wee more way. Thank you very much. Well, Happy Joe, if I were stone cold sober, I probably would only go part of the way, but... After I've had a couple of pictures of zombies and destroyed major brain cells, I'm likely to do just about anything. Oh, so you're a girl who likes a nice stiff drink every once in a while. Well, yeah. How would you like a nice stiff oriental every once in a while? Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. I'm a real horn dog, and I'm not kidding about that one. Oh. Okay, bachelorette number three. Would you like to be married or tied down? Well, I don't know about marriage, but I'd love to be tied down. <laughs> oh, my God, you are better than I am. <laughs> Remind me to keep you away from the soap on the rope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, happy Joe, happy Joe. Oh, well, we're, we're out of time. time. Oh, That's gee, about it. That's oh, right. That's gee. right. Now, you're going to have to make up your mind. Is it going to be bachelorette number one, bachelorette number two, or bachelorette number three? Oh, they are all so bad, but I'm afraid I won't have to pick. Bachelorette number three. Bachelorette number three. Congratulations. Good choice, Thank Happy Joe. Thank you very much, Gene. Good choice. Well, before we meet your dream mate, Happy Joe, why don't we meet the two bachelorettes that you didn't choose, okay? okay? Bachelorette number one is the dental hygienist from Burbank, California. Please say hello to Candy O'Brien. Candy O'Brien? Oh, Candy, you are so bad. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry I didn't pick you. Better look next time, girl. Yes, okay. Let's meet bachelorette number two. You also didn't choose. She's a pig rancher from Cassidy, Texas. Please welcome Velma Peckerwood. Velma Peckerwood, oh my God. Do you want you, man? Oh, I'm very sorry I didn't choose you. Hey, weren't you in deliverance? <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, someone left the back door open. Ooh, okay. Boy. Remind me to not to have you sit on my face. <laughs> and I'm not kidding about that one. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm getting hot here. Now, Happy Joe, this is the big moment. Are you ready for this? Oh, Jim, I'm so ready. I'm about to climax in my shoes. Oh, I'm of your shoes. Okay, you're a dream mate. We're going to meet. She's a syndicated horror movie hostess, better known as Mistress of the Dark. Happy Joe, let's meet your dream mate, Elvira! Elvira! Oh, my God, Elvira, you are so bad. Oh, coming out of the sun, Pavelacci, Hustle of Magazine. Oh, <laughs> Boy, I can hardly wait to get these developed. <laughs> I go where you got those developed. Okay. Yeah, yeah, those, you know, those are almost bigger than her head. You're not kidding. <laughs> oh, I'm well, not kidding happy about Joe, that one. you're going to have plenty of time to develop more than pictures and my speech when you go on your dream date with Elvira to Happy Joe's apartment. To my apartment, all right. <laughs> Well, you'll have a sushi dinner prepared for you by your dream date and chef, Happy Joe. Then it's time to relax with your date in a soothing hot tub with Singapore slings and more sushi. <laughs> then you'll want to get cleaned up, so it's off to the shower with your dream date for soap and sushi. <laughs> Then to wind up your dream date, it's off to bed with Happy Joe for sex and sushi. Oh, hey. This is a dream date that Happy Joe and Elvira will never forget. Oh, thank you so much, Gene. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I think we're all out of time, so why don't we throw everyone a big mating game kiss? Are we ready? Mwah! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Here's hoping the dream date that you want, you get. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the fabulous Mr. Excitement. Too bad, too bad, too bad. I'm on fire. I'm so hot. With desire for what you got. You'll heat up with a 
my embrace I'll put the fire in your fireplace I'm on fire Listen, sister A love like mine can raise a blister I'm on fire I'm not joking I'll leave you satisfied and smoking You can't escape my towering inferno I'm on fire and the fire is taking shape Would you put the hors d'oeuvres on the coffee table while I check on dinner? Sure, Sharon. You know, I really appreciate you and John having me over for dinner. I'll tell you, I've been out with some jerks lately. Last night, it was a video game freak. All he wanted me to do was play with his joystick. I'll tell you. <laughs> when you are a single woman, all people want to do is fix you up with guys. Heidi, we sort of have a little surprise for you. John is bringing home a friend with him for dinner. Oh, no, Sharon, not you, too. Oh, don't get excited. He's a really nice guy who works with John. His name is Bob Keister. <laughs> Bob Keister, not Bob Keister. He's an ass. You know him? Oh, I've been out with Bob Keister, and he is an ass. Hi, honey, I'm home. Hi. Mm, Bob will be in in a minute. He's just parking the car. Howdy, Heidi. Goodbye, John. Wait a minute, where are you going? I'm going home. Well, what's the matter? Heidi doesn't like Bob. What do you mean? He's a great guy. No, he's not. He's an ass, and I'm leaving. Too late. He's here. Go on, sit down. Go on. I'm sure he's very nice. No, he's an ass. And besides, he has terrible breath. Shh. Hi, Bob. Come on in. <laughs> Good evening, class. <laughs> Today's lesson is on the human reproductive system. <laughs> now, this is a, a perfectly natural function. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. <laughs> <laughs> Let's begin. The male sexual organ is called the penis. P E A N U S S. The female sexual organ <laughs> must call a vagina. <laughs> Spelled uh, the way that it sounds. <laughs> 
When uh, the penis becomes firm and erect, pointing north, <laughs> it is inserted into the vagina and swams back and back and back. Until ejaculation! <sighs> now, if, if you'll give me uh, about 20 minutes, We'll review. My name is Ray, and this is my cabin, and I make these. <laughs> and what they are is like alarms, you know? <laughs> Here, I'll show you how they work. <laughs> See, what you do is you hang them on the back of the door like this, you know? And then, like when a raccoon breaks in, the beads bang up against the door. <laughs> and it, it, like, wakes you up. <laughs> and that way, the raccoon can't steal your eggs. <laughs> and this is my dog, Shadow. Um, Shadow's like, well, well, Shadow's like dead, <laughs> you know, but I'm, like, keeping him around so I can, like, watch him reincarnate. Stay. <laughs> you want to know what else I do? I'm also a puppeteer, and this is my puppet, and his name is Joshua. And it's like, hello, Joshua, how's it going? How do you like being here? Oh, it's going okay. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna tell a joke, okay? Um, hey, Joshua, um, how many Zen Buddhists does it take to screw in a light bulb? I don't know. Two. One to, like, screw in the light bulb, and then one to, like, not screw in the light bulb. <laughs> ha, ha. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, now, I'm going to be the puppet, and Joshua is going to be the man, okay? Hello, Ray. How's it going? How do you like being here? Oh, it's going okay. Okay, now we're going to do like a magic trick, okay? Um, Joshua is going to drink this bottle of apple juice while I sing A Horse With No Name. Who I've been to the desert on a horse with no name. It felt good to be out of the rain. <laughs> um, you know, I bought these jeans in like a thrift store, you know? And, and I reached into the pocket when I got home and I found this poem inside. And I'd like to share it with you. Someone's crying, Lord. Kumbaya. Someone's crying, Lord. Kumbaya. Someone's crying, Lord. Kumbaya. Oh, Lord. Kumbaya. Mm. Like, does anybody know what Kumbaya means? Señores y señoras, el hombre mi guapo y macho, Ramón Esteca.
de mi vida. No puedo ocho bibliotecas porque no quiero Isabel, porque el libro es aquí. Gracias. 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 Gracias and welcome to the Ramon Esteca portion of the show. I am Ramon Esteca. And this is my portion of the show. <laughs> you know, the best part about my portion of the show is women. You're a beautiful woman. What is your name? Barbara. Barbara! Barbara. Mm, Barbara. You smell like warm grass. Have you been mowing the lawn? Look at me! You're a beautiful woman. What is your name? Tracy. Tracy! Tracy, do you like my ring? Then kiss it. <laughs> you know, most women like to run their fingers through their man's hair. My women want to sit on mine. <laughs> Guess what? You're a beautiful woman. What is your name? Rita. Rita. Rita, go like this. You have a piece of popcorn right here. Go like this. <laughs> but the men ask me, the men always ask me, Ramon, how do you make love to a woman? Well, I'll tell you, it's very simple. First, you put on some soft music, like the girl from Impanima. And then, you get into the groove. <laughs> then you turn the lights down very, very, very low. And you walk up to your woman, and you slap her! <laughs> Just to let her know who is boss. <laughs> and then you whisper in her ears, No me dijas, es linda! Which means, I am hungry for love. <laughs> Set the table. <laughs> and then when she's not looking, you jump on her. <laughs> it works five times out of ten. <laughs> You're a beautiful woman. What is your name? Janice. Janice. Tell me, Janice, are you married? Yes. Is this your husband? Yes. Do you have any children? No. Coward! <laughs> You're a beautiful woman. What is your name? Anne. Anne. Tell me, Anne, are you married? No. Do you have a boyfriend? No. Are you a lesbian? <laughs> no. No, I'm just kidding. My sister Spike is a lesbian, and she is the greatest bullfighter in all of Mexico. You're a beautiful woman. What is your name? Robin. Robin? Robin? Nesting in that chair, Robin? Tell me, Robin. Robin, if you could have anything, anything from a man in the entire anything kingdom, what would it be? Money. Money? So, you are a materialistic bitch. <laughs> I understand. You're a beautiful woman. What is your name? Terry. Terry. Tell me, Terry, if you could be any animal, any animal at all in the entire animal kingdom, what animal would you be? A tiger. A tiger. So, Terry, 
You're a meat eater. <laughs> You're a beautiful woman. What is your name? Linda. Linda. Linda, like a fine French wine that goes well with fish. <laughs> Men, if you want to make love to a woman, first you must prove your love to her. I shall prove my love to Linda. That is for you. Don't put it in your lap. Because Linda, Linda, you are like a shining star. A gleaming, shining star that shines in the night for Ramon Esteca. And when I extend the telescope of love, and you look into the telescope, Linda, do you know what I see? Amor. 